Hi guys, Murph here for a new NASCAR Heat 5 setup video. Yep, just come out today and I'll crack on with my very first setup. Um, I'm going to start off with the granddaddy of them all, the most, probably the most important track in NASCAR, Daytona. Now for this for Heat 5 setups, I'm going to do a slightly different format. I am going to bring in an extra setup. Now I'm going to show you the qualifying setup and a race setup like before, but I'm also going to show you a stable setup. So if, if you're struggling with the race setup, you can always give the stable setup a go. It might be more to your liking. Um, the race setup is going to be a purely aggressive setup, something that I would generally use, something that anyone with a bit of experience will have. But the stable setup might be a bit better for those new to the sim. Now for the quality setup for Daytona, it's pretty simple. Um, just simply push the grill tape to 90% compared to the race and you're ready to go. There's not a lot you can do to adjust the car, it's not like you make a short run car versus a long run car. So just push it to 90% and you're good to go. Now I'll show you the quick setup. This is the setup I would use in a race for the cup car at Daytona. Now a thing to bear in mind, unlike say Talladega, Daytona is still a little bit of a handling racetrack, so you've got to set the car up to handle well. It's not just about horsepower. In this case, I've set this car up to be a long run car. It doesn't really get really quick, doesn't get to optimal performance to about lap 5. In the first couple of laps, it is a wee bit of handful on traffic. So you just got to be a bit ginger and ready for the rear end to be, I wouldn't say loose, but just a little bit unstuck um, takes a wee bit of skill just to hang on to it but as you can see here it only took me 10 laps to go from 40th position all the way to the lead or just over 10 laps now before we show you the stable setup feel free to hit the old like and subscribe button very much appreciate it if you do feel free to hit me up in the comments if you especially if your setup has helped you if it's improved how quick you are now if you have struggled with that fast setup or we'll try the stable setup for out this may just be the the tonic you need um, for this i've increased the front weight um, just to try and get a bit more weight on that nose to get to use up those front tires a bit more um, i've also lowered the rear track bar to settle the car down a bit um, to compensate for that you're going to get a bit more understeer so I have also lowered the front cambers, which will also give you more understeer, but also give you better tyre life to try and protect those front tyres. Um, if this is still too loose, I would recommend just dropping the track bars down again, just by 0.25 each time until you get it to it's comfortable. Anyway, as I say, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look out for some future videos. Um, I will be doing tr the truck series and Xfinity over the next as well. And I'll be trying to release uh, at least two or three setups a week, maybe a few more if I've got time, and also plan on doing a bit of a career mode walkthrough. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and give and hit me up in the comments. Ciao.